Alright, we've got wall tank erosion survey part two. Uh, we can't use horoscope on this building because uh, it's got cancer wall insulation. Um, we strongly believe there's a wall tank problem because we've got our characteristic horizontal cracking running across the tops of the bricks here, bridging the perps as you can see. Um, there is some more of this fine cracking. Um, one way to quickly tell whether or not this is associated to a wall type corrosion problem is merely to put a wall um, a metal detector over it. So we're going to do that just to check. Yep, see if there's any more of these cracks. Oh, blind me. Yep, they correspond to the position of the original wall ties. So really now, um, the wall tie corrosion inspection is a bit of a formality because we know that there's a problem because we shouldn't be getting horizontal cracks on the bed joints where the ties are. Um, there are things which induce cracking at tie positions, settlement and things can be resisted by ties across the cavity and that can cause cracking. Um, but this characteristic horizontal cracking is very typical. So let's get to it and expose it. Right then, so we've exposed this by chiseling it out um, and in the bed joint here. It'll be difficult to see, so I'm going to use the end of a boroscope just to light it up, see if you can uh, see in there. It might be difficult to focus. Um, but basically, um, there's a very, very rusty wall tie. Lots of lamination on it. A um, little piece of it there that came off when I, uh, when I chiseled away. So that really confirms what the problem is. So a bed joint chase now, we'll just make that good now. And uh, the bed joints are actually extremely soft, very powdery, and it's been over pointed with some hard mortar which has tended to trap water damping. Um, I'll mention that to my client that's buying the property. And uh, we'll take it from there.